Now in this short technical demonstration, we're going to assign a domain administrative account. Now, as you can see here, I've already accessed the domain and I'm in the properties under permissions. What we're going to do from here is we're going to go to our settings option. Now, keep in mind, while the connector is integrated with Active Directory, we haven't assigned any specific permissions associated to Active Directory to make any changes. This requires an administrative account. So under settings, under the domain, we have an option for administrative account. So we'll go ahead and click select. And as you can see here, we can select the privileged access service account or an Active Directory account. Now for this particular demonstration, we're going to focus on Active Directory and we'll click select. Now I'm going to select an account that has domain privileges. This can be a power users account or a custom account that has specific permissions that you want to permit through the portal. For this demonstration, I'm just going to go ahead and make it simple and make it a domain admin account. So once again, I'm going to select Alex Foster and we'll click select. Go ahead and provide Alex's password and click select once again. We'll go ahead and click save and now we have our domain administrative account in place. Mm -hmm.